All right, so let's consider the second question of that same past question, March 206, 2021, River State University past question. All right, so the question says, in a certain factory that manufactures animal feed, machines A1, A2, and A3 produces 40%, 35%, and 25% respectively of the total daily production. The percentage of quality feeds produced in bags are 2, 4, and 5. If a bag of feed is selected at random from a day's production and is found to be a quality feed, question 1 says, what is the probability that it is manufactured by machine A1? Question 2 says, what is the probability of getting a quality bag of feed in a day? All right. The first question says, what is the probability that a selected bag at random is of a quality feed and it is produced by machine A1? So question one. So the question one is the probability that it is manufactured by machine A1. Okay, so before then, a condition says, if a bag is selected at random from a day's production and is found to be a quality feed. So you have to also keep that condition in mind. All right, so the first thing to do is, we first of all, um, we first of all denote all the events. Let's denote all the events. We were given, okay, uh, we first of all denote all events. So let A1, be okay bags manufactured by machine a1 okay a2 bags manufactured by machine a2 and a3 bags manufactured by machine a3 and let q be bag of quality feed okay so let's QB the bag of quality feed now we are looking for the probability that the bag selected at random is manufactured by machine a1 and it is also of a quality feed so this is actually a conditional probability you'll be given the condition now to solve any problem on conditional probability we can easily make use of the bias theorem okay we can make use of the bias theorem using the bias theorem for conditional probability okay and what is this theorem okay we have that P A one Q is equal to P A one times P Q A one all over P Q. Now I'll quickly tell you what all this denotes. Now P A one Q is the probability that a bag selected at random is of a quality feed so q here indicates quality and it is manufactured by machine a1 that's what this stands for okay whereas p a1 is the probability that a bag selected at random is manufactured by machine a1 okay and p q a1 is the probability that a bag is of a quality feed given that it is produced or manufactured by machine a1 so you see pqa1 q indicates quality feed given that it is manufactured by machine a1 all over pq pq denotes the probability that a bag is of a quality feed q here indicates quality okay the probability that a bag is of a quality feed regardless of the type of machine which it is produced from so it is not A1, it is not A2, it is not A3, it's just what a connotation of the three machines, regardless of the type of machine which it is 
made of or manufactured of all right so now from the question we're given in the question that um let's go through the question again in a certain factory that manufactures animals feed machines a1 a2 and a3 produces 40 percent so the probability okay probability or simply uh, p a1 the probability of a feed to be manufactured by machine a1 was given as 40 percent and this is equal to 0 0.4 of course 40 divided by 100 gives you 0 0.4 okay all right so let's go through it again uh, machines a1 a2 a3 produces 40 percent so which means a1 produces 40 percent a2 produces 35 percent and a3 produces 25 percent so probability of production by machine a2 is 35 percent which approximately gives us 0 0.35 dividing 35 with 100 and the probability of production from machine a3 was given as 25 percent okay which is 0 0.25 so which means to obtain what p a1 from the formula this is a conditional probability using bayes theorem so we've gotten p a1 it was given from the equation as what 40 percent probability that a, a a feed is manufactured from the machine a1 and is given as 0 0.4 okay now we we need to now find okay other condition that was given let's also go through the question again please um other condition that was given um it says that the percentage of quality feeds produced in bags are two four and five so percentage of quality feeds these are the probability of feed produced by each of these machine now percentage of quality feeds simply means okay let me indicate it here percentage of quality feeds okay so we have okay there are two which is two percent four percent and five percent all right and i told you earlier that pq indicates um pqa indicates a quality feed made from machine a1 therefore p q a or p q a1 is now equal to the probability of the probability of manufacturing a quality feed from machine a1 it was given here two percent stands for machine a1 four percent stands for machine a2 five percent stands for machine a3 so we have two percent which is actually 0 0.02 when you divide by 100 okay same thing p q a2 which is probability of quality feed which is probability of quality feed produced from machine a2 we have it here four percent is the quality feed so we have okay four percent which is equal to 0 0.0 for when you divide by 100 and finally p q a3 probability of the quality feed produced from machine a3 was given as five percent so you have five percent which is 0 0.0 five okay so you have this out as well now the final one which i told you which is pq means the probability of a quality feed produced from um produce regardless of what the type of machine involved so this is actually the sum of the probability of all the machine produced together so pq all right now pq since we now know pa1 we also know pqa1 we need to now find what pq probability of um <coughs> the probability of equality feed produced probability of equality feed produced regardless of the type of machine probability of quality feed produced regardless of machine type okay so this probability is simply given as pq is equal to now we obtain this simply as the probability of the uh, the probability of of manufacturing from machine a1 multiplied by the probability of 
quality feed manufactured from machine A1 plus probability of manufacturing from machine A2 times the probability of, of a quality feed manufactured from machine A2 plus probability of machine A3 times the probability of manufacture from of a quality feed manufactured from machine A3. You have this. Therefore, PQ is now equal to PA1. We obtain that earlier as what? 0. Point. We obtain that earlier as 0. 0.4. Okay, and PQA1 was given as 0. 0.02. Multiply them together, you have 0. 0.4 times 0. 0.02. Plus, same thing for PQ or PA2 was 35%, which is 0. 0.35. And PQA2 was 4% which is here 0 0.04 so we have 0 0.35 multiply 0 0.04 plus the final pa3 pa3 was given us 25 percent which is 0 0.25 multiply by um, pqa3 which is 0 0.05 here so we have 0 0.25 multiply 0 0.05 is as simple as this so the probability of manufacturing from a quality feed the probability of obtaining a quality feed pq is now so we do 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.02 that gives us 0 0.08 0 0.008 please pardon plus next we find 0 0.25 mul 0 0.35 multiply 0 0.04 That gives us 0 0.014 plus next we we'll find 0 0.25 multiply 0 0.05. That gives us 0 0.0125. Okay. Alright, so if we sum this all up, this implies that the probability of obtaining a quality feed is equal to we have 0 0.008 plus 0 0.014 plus 0 0.0125 that gives us 0 0.0345 we have 0 0.0345 so it means that we've obtained okay we have this to be 0 0.0245 345 as pq 0 0.0345 so it means we've obtained pq and we know pa1 we also know pqa1 we cannot substitute them into this um, conditional probability from Bayes' theorem and obtain the probability that a quality, a bag selected at random is a quality feed and is manufactured by machine A1. Therefore, all right, so therefore, imputing into the equation, okay, so we have here that P A1 Q is now equal to PA1 itself was 40%, which is 0.04, sorry, which is 0.4. So we have 0.4 multiplied by PQA1 was given as 0.02. Okay, PQA1 was given as 0.02. So multiply by 0.02. All over PQ itself was given as 0 0.0345 okay we obtain pq as 0 0.0345 so all over 0 0.0345 so it can only be as easy as this all right so this is equal to so this is equal to so we have 0 0.4 multiply 0 0.02 which gives us 0 0.008 divided by 0 0.0345 okay you can also convert this to percentage by simply multiplying here with 100 percent so it means p a1 q is now equal to 0 0.008 divides 0 0.0345 multiply by 100 so we have 23.18 percent that gives us 23.18 percent 
so this is the probability that a bag selected at random could be manufactured by machine a1 if it is a quality feed 23.18 percent so we'll move over to the second question the second question says what is the probability of getting a quality bag of feed in a day okay question two all right so what is the probability of getting a quality bag of feed in a day and we've actually solved for this problem we've actually solved for this in the previous um explanation upwards we've actually solved for this in a way now the probability of getting a quality bag of feed in a day is what we obtain as the probability of getting a quality bag of feed regardless of the machine type involved so it's just of what we've solved earlier but just to resolve this simply stands for what pq probability of getting a quality feed regardless of the type of machine involved and we say this is equal to probability of machine a1 multiplied by the probability of um, a quality feed manufactured by machine a1 plus the probability of machine a2 multiply the probability of a quality feed manufactured by machine a2 plus probability of machine a3 multiplied by the probability of a quality feed from machine a3 it's as simple as this so p q is equal to we've done this already uh we obtain that the probability of machine a1 let me also pull it back probability of machine a1 it was given as 40 percent which is 0 0.4 so we have 0 0.4 multiplied by the probability of obtaining a quality feed from machine a1 also was given pq a1 pq a1 was given to us as 0 0.02 so multiplies 0 0.02 all right so go ahead and do the remaining we have plus pq pa2 a2 was given as 0 0.35 okay multiplied by pq a2 was given as 0 0.04 plus P A three was given as zero point two five multiplied by zero point zero five. Okay, so we obtain earlier that P Q is equal to zero point zero zero eight plus we have zero point zero one four plus zero point zero one two five. All right, so when you multiply them together, so you can go ahead and add up. If you do that, you are going to obtain that the probability of obtaining a quality feed in a day's production is given as adding them all up together. We have 0 0.0345. Okay, so you might wish to multiply this by 100%. This will now convert the probability in percentage. So we have this to be equal to 3.45%. All right, so the probability of getting a quality feed from a day's production is 3.45 percent all right guys so that's it for question two i will see you in the next video with question three thanks and cheers